I'm about to talk about my life. Woo. Hello my friends, it's Nina for this video. I am going to talk about my life and I'm just gonna keep talking and talking and talking and talking. So if you're familiar with my channel at all, then you would know that I go to UC Berkeley. I've mentioned it here and there. I'm pretty sure you guys know that I go to UC Berkeley. I hope you do. If not, I do go to UC Berkeley. I never talk about it, which is strange because, you know, it's it's my school. But I've never actually addressed, like, my experience going to UC Berkeley or anything. Like, I have college-related videos, I have studying videos, but I never directly talked about being at UC Berkeley. I think I've also mentioned, yeah, I'm pretty sure we all know that I'm a transfer student, which means I went to community college for two years and then I transferred to UC Berkeley after those two years. I wasn't at UC Berkeley for four entire years. I was here for literally a year. So I feel like a second year, I feel like a sophomore, but I'm actually a senior now. I'm on my fourth year of college in its entirety. Yes, so anyway, I am going to finally talk about all of it. Get a drink, get a refreshment, because I'm going to talk so much. Because my experience getting into YouTube Berkeley was such a long process. This video, I'm warning you, is not really a how to get into UC Berkeley because honestly, I still don't really know how anything happened. It all just kind of fell into place. As I tell my story, it'll all make sense, but this isn't really a tips video. So if you're looking for that, just X out of this tab. Just completely don't watch this video because this video is going to go to many places. But anyway, without further ado, I'm just gonna get started. There's no organized structure to this video but I will start from high school because that's kind of where everything started. In high school I was a pretty... for the first few years I was a very shy person. I was very to myself and very timid, you know, still going through some things. The first two years of high school really was just me trying to, you know, be a little more confident but by the time I was a junior slash senior that's kind of when I became this more carefree, a little more social, less shy person. That's the best way I can put it. So junior year slash senior year of high school is really when I was starting to prepare for college. I was taking the PSAT, I was taking the SAT, I was taking all these AP exams for credit. So I was really trying my best to get to a college. So throughout my life, I always heard that going to university was the plan. And so community college, even though I went to community college, it actually wasn't a plan till literally the last minute. And I'll get to that later. But going to university was always the plan for me just because that's how I grew up. My aunt, who went to UC Berkeley, that's how she did things. My dad, my mom, they both went to university after high school. Actually, my dad went to art school after high school. So not university, art school. But basically my entire family and my friends and everything, my social, just everything. It was always college right after high school. So that's kind of what was normal for me. So I was always preparing for university. Even though my own parents didn't go to a University of California, a UC, I wanted to go to a UC just because that's kind of what everyone wanted to do. Everyone wanted to go to a UC. And obviously there are Ivy Leagues and all that, but I already knew that I just wasn't at that level. So I just aimed for UCs and whatever universities were around me. So I applied for a lot of universities just because you want to apply to every single college at the time because you're like, I need to get into one of these schools so I'm gonna apply for all of them and they're, one of them has to accept me, that kind of thing. And so I was, I literally just applied for so many schools. I even applied for a lot of common app places. I really just at the time really thought that I could get into these schools. I was still in my head thinking, oh, I've done my best. I've done everything that I possibly could, I should get into a good school. Throughout high school, I performed well. I got A's and B's and all that. I took all these AP classes. Why wouldn't a university accept me? So even though I was struggling a lot with the application because I was finally coming to terms with who I was and all that, I was answering all these questions that I've never asked myself before. It was a hard time, but I, I still thought that, oh, yeah, I'm gonna get into one of these schools. <laughs> and then after I sent my application, a few months later, I got the results and they were not good. 
I did get rejected by all of my dream schools and all of the backup schools that I thought were backups those became the only viable options and then I was suddenly coming face to face with who I actually was and I actually realized oh life doesn't always go your way I guess <laughs> so now I was at a very weird place in my life I was really starting to question my life which I haven't done before because throughout high school I had this sort of you know go with the flow personality but that that kind of affected the way I viewed myself and viewed life that was kind of just a sort of coping mechanism for me to not actually think about my life and not think about who I actually am as a person not actually think about the underlying problems in my life the underlying insecurities that I still carried all that I didn't want to deal with it and so I kind of always distracted myself from myself even though I am this introvert looking back when I was in high school I really didn't spend that much time by myself honestly back then I was constantly surrounded by people I was constantly surrounded by my friends I was constantly just doing things away from here away from my inner being <laughs> because I was always distracted I never really took the time to think about you know what I wanted for my future I never really thought about that and because my parents really didn't push me to you know go to some prestigious university all of that because they were always just like do whatever you want to do but that kind of confused me because I was like what do I want to do I completely did this application and really just wasn't in this mindset it was just a very rough time emotionally <laughs> it was like this weird feeling of feeling like I let people down but also I kind of knew this was going to happen so it was like I knew that I didn't perform as well as I could I could have done more extracurriculars but I always prevented myself because of my insecurities and because of my social anxiety and all that and so I always thought yeah I could have done better but I just didn't it was just a weird time of self-blame but also blaming other people I just was kind of like detached from everything that was happening and so later on I realized one of my friends was going to community college and community college was always something that I heard about but I never really thought about it because again going to university that was always the plan and when I heard that she was going to community college that's when I started to think about what if I went to community college I didn't really think of applying for university after community college as an option I never really thought about that because I always thought oh yeah I'm just gonna go straight to university right after high school once I found out that my friend is doing that that's when I started to really question what I was going to do in the future so I was really just at a crossroads just after a lot of thinking I decided to go to community college I looked at the factors of it being financially a better choice I thought about how it would be a second chance for me because I didn't get into the universities that I wanted and that's because I messed up my college application and so I just realized finally that I just wasn't ready to go to university because I I really just needed to come to terms with who I was I needed to have an epiphany emotionally mentally just everything I wasn't ready for it so I decided to go to a community college literally at the last minute and I thought my parents would be like upset or disappointed but when I told them that I wanted to go to a community college it was a very emotional time my parents were thinking that I think they thought that going to university was what I wanted and at the time I really just thinking about it I didn't really know what I wanted and so they were kind of emotional that I was deciding to let go of university and go to a community college and so they were kind of emotional about that in a good way they were like oh she's going to make this sacrifice and start over and that's when it kind of hit me that you know this is going to be a new chapter in my life it's not the path that I wanted to take but it's a new path and so I I decided I'm not going to go to university that I'm half-hearted about I'm going to go to community college figure things out really evaluate my life really evaluate myself and then just start over when I was in high school I was surrounded by the same people that I grew up with and so I kind of always you know acted like the same person that I was when I was in community college that was the first time that I was really just 
by myself. I didn't see really a lot of people that I knew. My friends were all over the state, all over the country, maybe even outside of the country. For the first time, I was on my own. And so I wasn't being dependent on my friends for anything. I really had to experience being by myself. In high school, I never really went to the root of my problems. I always just looked at it from the surface. And I never really found out why I'm so afraid of something, why I'm so insecure about something. You know, I never looked at the root of why I felt this way. I always just dealt with it at the surface level. I was like, oh, if you just don't care, if you just act like this, then you'll be fine. But I never really went to the underlying root of the problem, which is basically how you can deal with these things. I can get to all of that in another video because that is all about really self-acceptance and self-love and that kind of stuff. And it was a really long journey that I could talk about in another video. But basically, I went through all of that during my two years of community college because I was finally coming to terms with my capabilities. I was finally just being my own person now in community college. One of the things that I can talk about is how I viewed myself academically, basically in school. I always had this sort of insecurity where I thought that everyone around me was smarter than me. I didn't challenge myself because I felt like I wasn't going to get to the level of my peers. I always thought, I'm just going to be here, you can do whatever. And when I was in a group project, I would let everyone else really take control and I would just be there and try my best. And so I was kind of not very secure about myself in that way. And so I never really thought of myself as a genius. I never thought of myself as really like, I never thought of myself as someone who can, you know, be a leader. And so I was kind of always holding myself back in high school because I was surrounded by people who I thought were very smart, very successful. And so I was just kind of like, Hi. But once I was in community college and once I was finally by myself and once I was, you know, with people who didn't know who I was, I finally was able to kind of be myself, not feel this pressure to hold back. I didn't have this feeling that people were going to judge me. When I was in community college, I found myself taking more risks. You know, I even applied for classes that I didn't think I was ever going to apply for. I willingly applied for public speaking, even though I don't really like, or at the time, I didn't really like speaking in front of people. And then for one of my classes we had this class field trip where I would have to be with my classmates for like a few days away from home and I was like I'm gonna go to that I literally just was finally becoming this person that I kind of always held back I was taking more risks and I would participate more in group projects sometimes I would take control of group projects and I was finally just realizing that I am capable of being in a more leader-like position. In high school, when I was doing my college applications, that was kind of my wake-up call when I realized that life doesn't go my way and I really have to start thinking about it if I want to get to better places. In high school, I never really took the time to really sit with myself and think, what do I want with my future? I kind of didn't really see a future for me in high school. I was just kind of like, I just want to get through each day, just kind of deal with it. Just hope that something good happens. I learned so much, not only academically, but I learned so much about myself and I became a lot more confident in myself. I wasn't always looking at myself in such a deprecating lens. I was actually appreciating the good things about myself. I was looking at successes I actually did have instead of always looking at what I lacked or instead of always looking at what I was bad at. Instead of always looking at that, I was finally beginning to look at what I was capable of doing because I always was just more used to putting myself here instead of bring myself up. I finally accepted that I can grow and I accepted that I can learn and I can be a better person. I don't have to always put myself here. I can actually go to newer places. Sorry, I had to change the battery. I finally went into my second round of college applications with a new lens, with a just a different way I viewed myself because back in high school, when I was applying for college, I still had this negative lens about myself that when I was writing essays about myself, I wasn't really focused on writing things that I had to offer. I was just like, it, would be, it kind of became like a diary really for my essays where I was just like describing everything that I lacked, describing everything I went through, that kind of stuff. Not really coming up with like how I grew out of it, that kind of thing, because at the time I didn't grow out of it. <laughs> I was still this 
person with all these insecurities and all that and so that kind of reflected in my college application that I still didn't know what I wanted and my college application was honestly all over the place I didn't have this narrative of what I wanted the colleges to see me as a person because that's kind of I didn't know who I was I finally was just at a place where I could think about myself positively I only applied to three schools for community colleges there was this transfer admission guarantee program plan thing for one of the universities so I did that with UC Davis and then I applied for UCLA and UC Berkeley I only applied to those three schools because since high school those were basically the only three schools that I would have wanted to go into they're really really great schools and so I was really really confident now I was just more sure of myself and I was like I'm gonna get into one of these schools because I actually did work harder this time. I sent in my application. I definitely did so much better on my essays. I actually showed myself to these colleges. I sent that application in and I got into all three of the universities that I applied to. My first acceptance letter was from UC Davis and I got in because of the transfer admission guarantee and all that. From the get-go, I knew that I had like a 99% chance of getting to UC Davis, which I was very excited about because I was rejected from UC Davis as a senior in high school. That was the first acceptance letter that I got and I was really happy about it. But then I got my acceptance letter for UCLA and I was just crying so much. I got rejected from UCLA and then two years later I got accepted. And so I was just really emotional and my, I was like hugging my entire family. It was just very cathartic and you know I was at a better place in my life and it was just all so new to me. And then a few days or weeks later I got the acceptance letter for UC Berkeley and and I was just on top of the world. But for some reason, even though UC Berkeley had been my dream school since I ever first heard about UC Berkeley, I cried more and was more emotional about UCLA's acceptance letter than UC Berkeley's. But that was just probably because I was so shocked that UCLA accepted me that I kind of gained this confidence like, oh, so now UC Berkeley's going to accept me. So it was just like... Ah. So as you can tell, I did choose UC Berkeley after much thought. But thinking about it, at heart, I am just a Berkeley person. I was born in Berkeley, so it's just like a full circle. But now a year passed since I chose UC Berkeley. Now I am going to start my fourth year of college or my second year at Cal. I'm a senior. I'm already almost done with my journey in college. When I was in high school, I really just, I didn't really see a future for me. I didn't really think my life was going to change so much. I didn't really think my life was capable of changing so much. I thought I was going to be stuck in this one place for a very long time. It may sound like I snapped and just suddenly started to love myself, suddenly started to think about myself, but it was a really long process. But because of that process, I was able to put my best foot forward in my college applications after community college. Do I wish that I went to a university straight after high school? I may have wished that, but looking at it now, I'm very thankful that I had these two years to finally look at my life, to wake up, and to just think about who I was as a person. Some people probably already figured themselves out by the time senior year of high school came around. I personally needed this time. I just wasn't, I knew I wasn't ready for university, but because I was pressuring myself to get into a university just because all of my friends were going and just because I thought that was what I should do, I pressured myself to get into a university even though I really just wasn't prepared. I just didn't know I wasn't prepared. I don't regret anything that happened even though I was very saddened that I got rejected by these schools at the time. If I wasn't rejected by those schools, I never would have had this wake up call and I never would have had to question my life and I never would have had to question myself as a person. Even though those rejections were saddening and I went through periods of time that were pretty upsetting. I wouldn't change anything, honestly. I'm thankful for how everything turned out and I wouldn't do it again, but I'm glad that everything happened because now I'm a senior in college and I'm almost done. I don't know how much I'm going to change this year, but 
it'll be exciting. So that is my experience getting into UC Berkeley. If I could offer any advice <laughs> from this video to apply to a university, it is just to try to find yourself before you dedicate two to four years of your life in college. Going to a university, it's very fast paced, so you don't really get this time to really be by yourself and really think about what you want. You know, a lot of my friends who went straight into university, they changed their majors, they changed their plans. We're just constantly changing, so it's kind of just like, does anyone know what they're doing right after high school? That kind of thing. We're always changing, and so I just hope that everyone can have this period of time where they can really be by themselves and ask what they want, because if we're just going through our fast-paced lives, not even thinking about what we truly want, we're going to constantly be lost. And so I'm definitely still finding myself. I'm not like completely 100% satisfied with where I am, even though I'm not where I want to be. I at least know that I can get somewhere because I'm not putting myself down and I'm finally letting myself just grow because I deserve to. And I feel like everyone deserves to grow. Just know that it's not going to always be a positive experience and there's always going to be bumps in the road. But from my experience, experience these bumps in the road led to something else when i'm in that bump in the road it feels very negative and it feels like i'm helpless and i'm not gonna get anywhere but time passes and you're somewhere else i'm at the school that i wanted to be at since i was a child if you view yourself with all these insecurities you're not going to put your best foot forward and you're just it's going to be hard to move on in your life and it's going to be hard to get to a different place everyone has something to offer it doesn't have to be on a global scale it doesn't have to change the world it doesn't have to be nobel prize winning but everyone has something to offer everyone is good at something and we should be proud of the little things we do as long as we're not hurting anyone i think that existing is great on its own i may not be a genius i may not be a nobel prize winning person i may not change the entire world but in my life i can do something i am capable of doing things and i shouldn't always hold myself back because of things that happened in the past, I should view myself in, you know, a more uplifting lens. But I also want to state that everyone's path is different. You don't have to go to college to have an epiphany. You don't have to do this or that to be happy. Everyone has a different path. Just find what makes you know yourself more and just find what's comfortable for you because everyone's different and some people don't need college. Some people don't need this or that. Whatever is the best for you and whatever is best for your growth as a person, do that. Make sure you do your research. Just choose what is best for you because everyone deserves to grow and be the best person they can be. But this is my experience and for anyone else who does plan to go to college, if you want to go to community college, I would recommend it. If you don't have an idea of what you're doing, if you aren't sure of what you're going to do, then I would definitely recommend community college. But if you want to go to a new university, go ahead, just do what helps you grow. The most but yeah that is it for this video this video was very long as i said i hope you enjoyed your water or your tea or your iced coffee but i hope this video was helpful in some kind of way and yeah that is it for this video i am starting college in a week from when i filmed this and i don't know how it's going to go maybe in like a month or two i might look back at this video and i'm gonna be like dang nina was so happy <laughs> I'm thankful for my experience and I'm thankful for everything that I have. That is it for this video. I wish you the best of luck in your endeavors, whether that is college or not college, high school or not high school, whatever it is. I hope you grow and learn and become the best person you can be. And I will see you in my next video. Yes, I am going in for a hug. So good luck, you guys, and bye-bye.